In this video, the sequence of play, including the French turn, the pre-battle, and the placement of French and enemy forces will be discussed. The sequence of play for a typical campaign starts with the French and includes advancing the turn counter, moving mobile forces, resolving battles, force marching, resolving more battles, and finally resupplying. Once the counter is advanced on the campaign track, you may move your mobile forces to an area adjacent to where they are currently located. However, your mobile forces cannot move if they are in the same area as enemy forces. When French and enemy forces are in the same area, you can resolve a battle. Start the pre-battle by rolling on the fog of war table. Depending on the enemy supply situation, you may have two or four points added to the results of the roll. The number of turns for the battle will be determined by the roll result. You may re-roll on the fog of war table if you discard a scout counter. You may ignore any adjustment made by the enemy supply in this situation. You may re-roll as many times as you want to discard a scout counter. The result of the fog of war varies from gaining supply points, paying supply points, gaining a scout, adding enemy reinforcements or enemy garrison, and more. If one side outnumbers the opposing side by more than three times its combat value, the weaker side will be destroyed with no battle needed. Otherwise, move all forces from the area to the battlefield sheet. Determine the number of battle plans that may be drawn by the enemy using the help sheet. Then, determine the number of battle plans French forces may use. You may spend supply points to increase the number of battle plans by one or two if you spend two or five supply points respectively. If Napoleon is present, you may choose insight counters for the battle. Place them on the battlefield sheet and activate them as needed. There are several types of insight counters that include duration, engineers, front, morale, raid, sweep, and terrain. You can now move your forces present in the contested area to the battlefield sheet. There are six regions on the sheet that include from top to bottom, enemy reserve, enemy approach, enemy front, French front, French approach, and French reserve. You can place a preset number of mobile forces in any of the regions. French garrisons are placed on the French approach region, while French fortifications are placed in the French reserve region. Napoleon is placed in his specified box. He does not participate, but his presence does allow you to choose inside counters. Now, place the enemy forces on the battlefield sheet starting with the garrisons that are placed on the enemy approach region and the fortifications which are placed on the reserve region. Randomly place the first four enemy infantry and cavalry in the enemy approach region with all other enemy mobile forces in the reserve region. All cannons, garrisons, and formations are placed in line formation, while enemy infantry and cavalry are placed in column formation. You can choose what formation to put the French mobile forces in. And now the battle will take place. In the next video, the battle overview will be covered, which includes battle plan assignments, activations, and results of combat to the forces involved in Field Commander Napoleon.